In this video, I'll show you how to add a really cool logo to your LumaFusion video. Let's go. Okay, first up, start with something simple, logo. So if you don't have your own logo, you can actually create your own one. I use I used to create my own one right here, the one that you see on your screen right now. I create in Procreate. Okay. But if you don't have any graphic skills, right, then you can hire other people. Okay, use other people's skills. There's a website like Fiverr and yeah, Upwork. Okay. So you can hire people to do it for you. Don't let your skills stop you from doing what you have to do, okay? If you don't have the skill, you can hire other peop people's skills. The reason why you want to add a logo to your video is because someone might want to steal your videos. In YouTube user agreement, they actually have a fair use to your videos if you don't turn it off, okay? They have this uh, button, this menu that you can't that they are allowed to use your videos any videos that you have will credit of course due to you but YouTube automatically do that for you if you don't turn it off but just to avoid that you have want to have your own logo into that video the other reason is branding right the reason why you want to do YouTube video sometimes because of your branding I have my own personal brand so are you so the reason why you want to have your own logo is personal branding. Right now, I have a logo that I create in Procreate and I have done it already. So what I do is I import in from Procreate to LumaFusion. So it's in my imported file. What you want to do is to just bring it on. It depends where you get it from, okay? If you go to your file, drag it on, basically. That's my logo. Now, right now, it's too big, way too big. Okay, double tap on it and make sure it is in PNG. Okay, PNG files are easier to manipulate in video. So make sure if you're hiring someone, you specify that you want JPEG and PNG as well. And if you want to thinking of long term, you want to lower it out to a bigger size, get the vector as well. Illustrator file, so vector, not pixel. Okay, but what you do. Depends where you want it, okay? In a corner somewhere. Not too big, not too small. Okay, so you need to resize it to whatever you want. In a corner somewhere. And that's it, okay? And every time you can play your video, it's there, okay? The way you want to go off the whole length of the video is by simply drag it out the whole length. That's it my friend, now you have your own logo everywhere you want to go. So scroll down, there, everywhere. Now sometimes, sometimes you, you you might want it's too, too big, okay? In your face, too much in your face. What you do is you can lower the opacity. See right now the opacity is 100%. If I lower down to 50% or 20%, Roughly there, right? Click back. You know it's there, but it's not too much in your face, okay? It's just enough there so people know it's a branding, but it doesn't, it doesn't distract people from your videos. So that's what you do. You can decide which corner you want it to be in. So double tap on that. Move to each corner, whatever corner you want. Okay, this corner here. It's easier to use the, uh, that's where this where you have your pen because sometimes your, your finger is too big. That's where you use the X and Y <laughs> to move around, okay? Y, move up, and we're there. That will do me. Okay, play. Okay, so it's in your video. Top right corner, time lapse notch. That's my brand. That's my logo. You're completely different, okay? But that's how you do it. My name is Rao Charles. Please consider subscribing to my channel if you find the content is valuable for you. Also, check out my playlist. There's a lot of great content there for you to check out. I'll see you next time with another tutorial. Bye.